students, welcome back to class. Today we're going to be reviewing this little children's show called Coco Melon. It's for little kids. My granddaughter loves this show, but unfortunately there are some messages in there that are not vegan. So we have to be very careful as parents when we're showing our kids this to always remind them like, hey, we do this, but no, we don't do that. That part, the show made a mistake. So. Remember when we're eating and we're showing kids what to eat, proper foods that we're looking for are whole foods. For example, lentils, chickpeas, brown rice, oats, peanut butter. You want to give your kids the peanut butter without any sugar added, without any salt added, without any extra oil, and that's for you too. Okay, parents, you got to love yourselves. You have to eat properly as if you're feeding the child within you. Don't feed yourself crap. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't, don't do anything that's bad for you. Your body should be like a garden, okay, not a cemetery. Don't put anything dead inside your body. Looking for kale, spinach, bok choy, bananas, blueberries, or any other blueberries, uh, sorry, any other berries like strawberries, raspberries, any any kinds of fruits or vegetables, basically. You're looking to sweeten things with dates instead of sugar, so grind them up and pour that sort of, that jam that you make into anything to sweeten things up. We're looking for tahini, that's good to eat also. That's a, something you can add to salad dressings. It really gives a, a good flavor. I personally don't like tahini on its own, but when it's mixed with things, it gives such a depth of flavor into any stews or, or salads or whatever. Looking for walnuts to get omega-3s, carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, tomatoes, avocado, garlic, or any other spices as well. You're looking to, to use basil, oregano, and turmeric, and any kind of spices. As many different foods as you can, vegan foods, you should eat per day to make sure you get a big variety. We're also looking at chia and flax seeds. Remember to grind up your chia seeds just before you use them so that you will get as many nutrients as you can and they're easily digestible. Better for your gut microbiome. Today we're going to be evaluating Coco Melon. So get out your cards. When we see something good, we're going to put a check mark. When we see something bad, we're going to put an unhappy face. We're going to put an X. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see what happens here. Cooking in the kitchen. What are they cooking there? What did that look like? Why is the toast white instead of brown? Eek. Gonna get an X for that. By the way, I'm using my vegan marker here. If you don't have, uh, can you see that? This is a brand that's vegan, but not all the things that they sell are necessarily vegan. So be careful, but this particular one is a brand Faber Castell. It's bad that you can't see it, but anyway. All right, so we're gonna, unfortunately, you know, they have to have an X right away. What a disappointment. Coco melon. Why are you serving white bread? And what in the heck was that batter? Hopefully that was some sort of pancake mix or waffle mix that was made without eggs. We're looking for no use of animal products. We're looking for plant-based milks. We're looking for no dead animals. What the fuck is this? Right away, within the first 29 seconds, they're showing dead animals, processed meats, classified as class one carcinogens by the World Health Organization. Do not eat processed meats yourself and never feed these to your children. Let's look at what the World Health Organization says, the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Each 50 gram portion of processed meat eaten daily increases the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. Processed meat refers to meat that has been transformed through salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. Most processed meats contain pork or beef, but processed meats may also contain other red meats, poultry, offal, or meat byproducts, such as blood. Examples of processed meats include hot dogs, frankfurters, ham, sausages, corned beef, and biltong or beef jerky, as well as canned meats and meat-based preparations and sauces. In view of the large number of people who consume processed meats, the global impact on cancer incidence is of public health importance. 
These findings further support current public health recommendations to limit intake of meat. Bacon and ham come from a cycle of violence. I'm giving you X's for each piece, one for each X, one for each of these uh, pieces of bacon, and that's a big piece of ham. I'm giving you two X's for that too. So we're not starting off too good there, Coco Melon. By the way, this is uh, all I get lots of my cardboard from my neighbors, so I don't know. I don't eat Cheerios, but I asked them to give me their cardboard so I can use it here um, to, to give it a second life. You know, it's good to reuse as much as you can, recycle whenever you can. You know, we can't always do it, but when we can, we do. All right, so really, uh, really very sad. You know, bacon comes from the cycle of violence. Six month old baby pigs died. Six months old. Now, you parents who are watching, you have children. How can you even contemplate harming another innocent being and then putting it into the body of a child? Here, here's a child. Okay, children should be fed healthy foods, whole foods, not death. All of our bodies should be like gardens, not graveyards. Take care of yourself and your children. Look, inside of you is a child too. Don't drink. Don't drink alcohol. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't put anything toxic inside your body. My God, life is so fragile as it is. You know, we can die at any time, get hit by a car, or any one of us can get cancer. Why not try to reduce our risks? And to teach children speciesism at such a young age, I mean, what if this was a dog? Would you feed this to your child? What if this was a cat? It's not right. So disappointing. Showing again the same thing, not even just like one time. Now we're going to show them serving it. Terrible, full of fat, salt. Full of cholesterol. What are you trying to kill your kid? Awful. How many pieces are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six or seven? Six, it looks like. Six X's for you, Coco Melon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So far, we have not seen one single vegetable or fruit. Not one seed, nothing. What's going on? Those pancakes look like they are made with white flour. Now, I'm not going to give an X yet because I don't really know. I don't know what's in the pancakes. It's possible that they're vegan. So we're going to let that one go. But this one? Not again. How many pieces are they showing now? Oh, my God. And even pancakes is not the best thing to have for breakfast. It's more like a dessert. You put syrup on there. Or you put fruit on there. That's something you have after. Oh, how many pieces of bacon were there? Oh my God. I'm going to say five. I don't know. I'm not going to go back. How many pieces of ham here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. This, this card is going to be, I just started the video. It's only 40 seconds and this is what we have already. Butter? No. Vegan butter only. X. Strawberry jam, berry jam, check mark. Jam is okay. You know, it's not the best. You're better off to have just the fruit. Crush up the fruit and put that on your child's meal, on your, your toast of some sort or whatever you're having. Don't, you don't need to add sugar. You know, children develop their palates according to what you feed them. If you never feed them added sugar, they'll just think that jam is a crushed up fruit. You know, crush up a banana, put that on, on, on top of the bread. Crush up some raspberries, some strawberries, some blueberries. Just push them, you know, you have those thing there that crushes things. Yeah, and just spread that on there. You can drain out some of the extra water if you have some. You can also warm it up. It makes a, a delicious dessert. It's something just tastes so sweet. 
But I totally understand you. You know, I used to eat jam all the time. Rarely ate fruits and vegetables before becoming vegan. I ate all kinds of toasts and, and bagels and big bowls of, um, of cereal and stuff like that. Like, I did not eat healthy. It's true. And, you know, I was trained as a registered nurse. So they don't really teach you. And it's not, like, emphasized in our society to eat healthy. But we know better now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 57 in a few days on September 24th. And, you know... It's so sad that we're teaching people that, to eat this way. We need to change our entire food system. <sighs> what the fuck? Eggs? Oh, fuck. Do not feed children something that comes out of someone else's ass or vagina or any part of them. Do not feed children anything that is stolen from animals. Leave animals the fuck alone. <sighs> so now you're teaching kids to steal. What right do we have to take eggs away from anyone? What do you parents also encourage your kids to climb trees and take eggs out of trees? Let's smash them on the ground or, you know, hey, there's a robin in the neighborhood. Let's just go take those beautiful little blue eggs. Let's just crack them in our frying pan. Is that what you guys do too? Is this the message? What's the difference? What is the difference? Don't hurt animals. Leave animals the fuck alone. Oh my God. Way to go. That's just perfect. Let's just teach them that stealing is okay and also let's just you know show them how beautiful this 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 product can be this is just great you know no wonder people keep on eating this stuff of course it's pretty i would feel like eating that too but it's wrong it's morally wrong i, I don't even know where to begin i'm running out of room i mean how many eggs did they show and and now it's showing it boiled there, showing it poached, whatever you call it. Um, oh my God, making an egg into the shape of a heart. What the fuck is the matter with you? Do you know how much cholesterol is in eggs? It's not healthy and it comes from a cycle of violence. In the egg industry, they murder baby boy chicks at one day old. Little, innocent boy chicks because they'll never be able to lay eggs. They're on this giant conveyor belt and they fall down, down down they're falling down and they're so cute and yellow and innocent and then these knives come and smash them into a million pieces and kill them what the fuck is wrong with us that happens every time that you eat eggs or that you eat chickens it's not right they are housed in these giant factories feeling feeling horrible it's like it's like a holocaust going on and just because it looks pretty doesn't mean it is look deeper Fuck. Oh my god. Making a song out of it? Oh good, there's some hope. This, this turtle just took the eggs away from the girl. Good. But what's happening? Where, where did they put the eggs? What did they do with them? I don't get it. Okay, no, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. What the fuck is this now? Buttermilk? Milk. Great. Let's just steal some more. Let's steal from cows while we're at it. Milk come from a cycle of violence where the males are masturbated. That's sexual assault. The females are forcefully impregnated. That's rape. Are we teaching kids that they, they should pay, pay for this? Contribute to this? That this should be something that they should get used to at the age of one and two? It's wrong. Are we teaching kids that it's okay when a mother has a newborn baby to rip that baby away? And because he's male and will never be able to give milk, we should slit his throat. That's what we do to baby boy cows in the industry. Coco melon is okay with that? How many million, almost a billion people saw this video. A billion people brainwashed with the same message by the meat, dairy, and egg industries constantly pushed into them. It is so wrong. Parents, do not feed your kids dead animals. Feed them healthy foods. 
healthy foods, be responsible parents, do some research about how to be vegan, how to get some healthy foods into your kids. There are all kinds of ways to slip vegetables into shakes and how to, to give them lentils and this, these good proteins. This is awful. <sighs> yogurt now? Oh, another product stolen. It doesn't say vegan yogurt. What the fuck is wrong with you? We don't feed kids products that are stolen. We don't feed kids death. My doorbell's ringing, but I'm going to ignore it. <gasps> Something that's a berry. That's good. All right, Coco Melon. Now, here's the problem, though. That's not enough. That is not a good enough ratio. I'll give you a check mark anyway. All right, raspberries, blueberries, good. Waffles now, they look white. They don't look like they were made with brown flour. What the heck, look at the ratio. Is that some sort of cream? What is that? Is that vegan cream? I doubt it. No, getting another X. A waffle is like a dessert people. It is not a main thing that you want to eat for breakfast. You need lots of fruit, something that's hydrating, lots of healthy foods, whole foods, not all this stuff that's concocted and made from all this crap. Where's the oatmeal, for example? Where are the oats? Buttermilk? Oh, fuck. All right, I don't know what to do. Now this thing is full, already full. I'm gonna stop. I'm not okay with this. Coco Melon, you should ban this video. You should take this down or you should have disclaimers everywhere that write in the front of it. Do not eat eggs. Um, no, you can't, eat, there's not even anything you do. You can maybe write, choose plant milk. You can write, choose soy milk or oat milk. That you could do. But how are you gonna fix this video? How can you possibly ever undo this damage? Encouraging the generation, that the next generation, to pay for this murder. And not only that, you're contributing to the demise of the planet. Our eco footprint is gigantic when we eat these kinds of animal products. We need to stop. Stop filtering all of our healthy foods through animals first. Don't do that. Don't breed all these animals into existence. Chickens, cows, and pigs, don't hurt them. What did they ever do to you? Don't create them. Leave them out of the equation. Take the land, grow crops on there, and feed them to the children around the world and to all of us. Coco Melon, you fail. Um, this is really disappointing. I'm giving you an F. You need to do much better than this. If anyone is watching this show, Coco Melon with your kids, I understand the attraction, I do. You know, it's cute, it has all of these, these kids, this music, but you gotta keep in mind all the time how you're being brainwashed by the meat, dairy, and egg industries. Just keep it in mind, try to edit out or just don't show those segments of this show to the kids. Show them the ones where they're talking about love and compassion, but leave this out of there because it, it imprints some sort of message into their heads. Just like all of you who are watching who are so used to eating these things and actually think they're food and don't see that they are death. It's not food, it's violence. You don't see it because you've been taught from such a young age. The future is vegan. Get ready. Get your kids ready. Protect the planet. Make sure that you watch yourself to educate yourself, the important documentaries. You need to watch these important documentaries so you learn what's going on. You, I know you don't just believe me, and you don't have to, but go and watch the undercover footage that happens. Go and watch Dominion Movement. Go and watch Earthlings. Watch Cowspiracy. Watch Seaspiracy. Watch Forks Over Knives. Watch The Game Changers. 
It's all about vegan athletes. Watch What the Health to see how your doctors have been duped by the pharmaceutical industries. There's so much corruption that goes on. You can do better. You can do better. And if you're a kid watching, you know, remember this. Always use your critical thinking skills anytime you're being sold something. Whether it's a sign on a billboard or a truck that shows a happy cow in a field, always think to yourself, I wonder if this is the way it really happens. And the answer is no, they're trying to sell you something. All they care about is profits. They don't care about the future of the planet. They don't care about your kid's future. They don't give a fuck. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do so. Do you look below? Do you see a subscribe button? See it? We're gonna be reviewing this show many times. Hopefully I'll find some episodes that are really good and I can praise them. So far I've done two uh, analysis of them and you know, one with animals and one with food and both of them are not impressive. So subscribe to this channel and you see below after you press the subscribe button, there's something like a notification bell. That's important too, because then you'll get notified every time I put a new video up, right? I am here in the school of life like you. I am learning all the time. All the time I find out something new. I mean, think about how all of the millions of animals on the planet. I don't know them all. I don't know all of their habits. I'm curious though. I don't know anything about trees. I don't know, I, don't, I couldn't name like 20 types of trees. I mean, we don't learn enough in school and I'm learning right now. I'm learning about how foods grow. Like, do you know where chickpeas come from? Can you picture them right now? How do we get chickpeas? Most people don't know. They can't picture the plant that a chickpea comes from. Okay, most people know that a carrot comes out of the ground, but there's a lot of different vegetables and fruits that we, we don't even know what they look like because they're not taught in school. So hang out with me. We're gonna learn so much here together. We're gonna to grow old together. And yes, one day I'm gonna die, just like you are. But in the meantime, we can try to make this world a better place. We can do our best. I don't know about you, but I feel it's our social and moral responsibility to try to leave the planet a little bit better than when we came. Imagine if everyone had that attitude. You guys can start now. So subscribe. Press the notification bell and coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Click on them. Be curious. Look around. Yeah, sometimes you're going to see me scream and yell. And yeah, sometimes I even cry because I see the footage of the animals suffering and it really gets to me. But you'll see. The longer you stay with me, you'll understand me. Hang out with me. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video. See you tomorrow because I put out videos every day so far. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Do, 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 do. Doo doo.